Hold up. What's going on you guys? It's Forever DNM and welcome back to another episode of His and Hers. Hi guys! If you guys are new to our channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Also turn on the post notifications so you get an alert every, every time, time we post. post. So today's question of the day is... <laughs> <laughs> how were we in high school and how did it shape us to who we are now? I guess so I'll start with me. It's not really like an advice column. Uh, column. It's not really an advice video, but it's more of like for those of you who are in high school, it kind of gives you guys a perspective on things that, you know, we've gone through that can maybe help you to where you guys are because we kind of we have some followers who are you know her subscribers that are in high school still so shed some light yeah just like show you how much life will change from them so yeah. we'll start with me i'll be honest this fool was i can fool. say that i was the typical stoner kid never goes to class probably always chilling in the cafeteria always at the smoker's pit <laughs> you know I was that kid, you know? I, but I was cool with everybody. Like, I chilled with everybody. Mostly the ballers, you know what I mean? <laughs> and yeah, I was just always high, not learning anything. Creating trouble. Creating trouble. That's pretty much it, and it was fun to me, you know? So like, high school for me was just like... A joke? A joke, to be honest. <laughs> it was a joke to a certain extent. That was when, That's when it leads to, I discuss in a, Past episode, um, I got arrested in high school and stuff. So it kind of goes to show like people that haven't spoken to me since then have sort of like an image and like uh, a memory of like what I was and not what I am right now, right? So um, I'm the complete opposite now. Like I used to be talking to everybody, fool around, talk shit to people, you know, beg for money. A lot of people know. They used to know me as the guy says, yo, can I have a dollar? <laughs> yo, those kids, I don't know if it still happens in schools today. Yo, can I have a dollar? But there's those kids, I remember them. They would be like, yo, you have, you have a quarter, you have a nickel, you have this, you have this. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, being honest, the hell? You just go to school with a plan, like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to collect 275 so I can buy myself I was, a patty. I was that guy, <laughs> can I have a dollar? Can I have a pencil, pen? Yo, you have an eraser? Yo, you have a sheet of paper? <laughs> Did you not bring anything to school? No. Like, was your backpack empty? Basically, yeah. Or, like, I had, like, a binder with nothing in it because I never did homework. Oh my god. So like it goes to show. I'm not I'm not promoting this guys. Like by the way, like yeah, I'm not definitely I'm don't definitely do what not you did. don't do what I did. But if you are like because you can't help it. If you're like me, you're like me. Someone like me, studying in, in school, trying to like do well was like the hardest thing for me. Because I don't know, I'm not like You learn different. Yeah, and like like I'm special in a sense, you know? We we were we were called like alternate education when I went to high school, but like people would say, oh, you're special or whatever. But it's just like, we don't learn the same. Not everyone fits the same. That's why I haven't gone to school, but I'm still where I'm at, right? And it's like, I'm not, I'm not saying too that like uh, school is bad. It's just, like I said, you have to develop yourself, choose your path and whatever opportunities find you, find you, right? But you always have to be open and yeah, you just kind of have to understand that you're not like everybody else. From my perspective, because mm -hmm. obviously you're different in high school. But for me, um, I get headaches when I try to study. If I read too long, like, I get a migraine. I get headaches, like, actually. That's why I smoked a lot of weed, because I tried to, like, get away from that, right? I'm not, and again, I'm not promoting that. I'm just saying, for someone like me, that's what kind of got me through it. Right? And then, like, there's no right or wrong way. You kind of just have to find your own way. And that makes sense, you know? Yeah. That's for someone like me that can't focus in school. Um, I don't want to say tries to be cool. You're just kind of like coasting. You're not really doing much, you know? And I'm exactly that kid begging for a dollar, you know, all that stuff. But here I am. So, I how did you get home from school? I asked people for bus tickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's just, even if I had one, I'm preparing, I'm, I'm thinking ahead. I'm trying to get one for the next oh day. Oh my god. So if I, got, if I got one to get to school and get home, 
I'm, I'm asking one for the next day and then the next day after because I would, I would screw around like I would go like everywhere with my boy oh my everywhere all over that's what you did you went to the mall chilled there all day you you went to square one, square one. you, you went to everywhere you, you would just take random I don't know if you guys did that but I took random trips on the bus just to see where it would take me and then go back so all in all in 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 summary he did not pay attention in school he was not prepared in school but he Never. still found a very successful life doing I, I found a way yeah and that means you guys can find a way too you know? and he didn't have school to like just because you're stuck in a certain scenario doesn't mean you're trapped you can always get out yeah always so that's from my perspective it's good shout out to all the kids that are struggling and they're not like everybody else. Not everyone's book smart. I'm 100% not book smart. But growing and growing, like as I get older, like I want to be. You know what I mean? Like I want to have that because I've always been street smart. You know? Because I was never in class. <laughs> so like I had no choice. That's all I had, right? So. I'm proud of you, baby. Yeah, I'm proud of me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to we can honest. find pictures of ourselves in high school. I'll put it there, somewhere here. Somewhere here. Somewhere right in this here. vicinity. <laughs> yeah. Me in high school was like the complete opposite of you. I in grade nine I went to a different school. So we both went to the same high school, but at different times. So we both experienced <coughs> the same high school, same teachers and everything, but yeah. five years apart. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so grade nine, I went to an all girls uh, high school. So my parents sent me there and I had a really good time in grade nine. I mean, there wasn't really the clicks and all that. It was kind of just like everybody was really like close with each other and everybody was friends. But the school was like 500 kids in total. And like when I went to Pocock, which is up the high school we both went to, but it my was my first high school. I don't know yeah his first high school yeah. um it was unisex or co-ed i guess co-ed is the right word so it was a co-ed school and like 500 people was like literally my grade so i went to like double the amount of people so that was kind that's of that's crazy that's actually crazy yeah well if you think about it in grade nine there was probably like maybe 70 of us 70 grade wow. nine students in total in total all girls. What? <laughs> yeah. But it was That's really like cool. Three classes, like, yo, I swear. It was really cool though, not gonna lie, because I enjoyed not having to get up and like look a certain way. Well, there, yeah. who, was, who was there to impress, right? Like no guys there, so I didn't really care. I didn't actually meet any guys in high school until probably the end of my grade nine year. And then it was unfortunate that like I moved because I also found a boyfriend at that time. I had like close guy friends and my my girlfriends from school. Uh, and then I moved to Pocock the following year. So grade 10 to grade 12, I actually graduated from that high school. And uh, it was weird. It just like was very uh, weird for me going back into a school with guys and then getting up, having to actually look decent for school. Because, you know, girls in high school, they want guys to notice them. Yeah. Right? So, there is that. I mean, I well, always... Well, it goes both ways, right? Guys are trying to impress the girls, too. But right? there's so much more work girls, for girls. Too much swaggy. Yeah. <laughs> swaggy. So, I was a good kid in high school. I went to all my classes, except for when I got to grade 11. I started skipping. But still, nonetheless, like, I graduated from high school. I was, like, a B student. I was never, like, an A student. So... I mean that was just what it was for me and in terms of like the people who I hung out with as you know I'm half Filipino I don't think everyone knows that actually yeah so I'm half Filipino and the first year that I went to high school in grade 10 I had four girls that I hung out with the entire year and then grade 11 happened and I kind of met other people and then I just found myself sitting at the Filipino table uh, I never sat at a table. <laughs> like I was, I was a good student. I graduated from high school, class of 2010, and yeah, it was, it was an interesting experience for me. I took a year off after high school 
just to kind of like figure out what I wanted to do because in high school like I was determined that I was going to be a hairdresser and that's actually something that later on I went to um, college for. I didn't finish it unfortunately. There was a whole issue with um, OSAP which for those of you outside of Canada, OSAP is like some um, schooling funded by the government that you have to pay back after you graduate. Uh, so there was an issue with that which did not allow me to finish my schooling. So I actually dropped out two months before my graduation which really sucked because I would have been a full hairdresser by now. And I could give this guy actually a proper fade. No, <laughs> you can't. But um, <laughs> even if you were, <laughs> then just like different opportunities came to me, which I, I was a supervisor at um, Justice, which is like a preteen girls clothing store, and then I was a supervisor, assistant manager at Kate Spade, and then um, I won't say where I am now just for the privacy of the company but it is a high-end retailer and I am an operations manager there and I mean it does pay very well the only thing about retail is just that it kind of sucks in terms of scheduling now that he's going back to work on Monday we don't have any days off together he's off on weekends and I work during weekends yeah. so it's really just the time when we come home that we have with each other so, I mean, it, this is our life and hopefully with YouTube and other opportunities that come our way, um, we're hoping to make this our livelihood yeah. and, and do things and, you know, just spread happiness and, yeah. and do things that we love. It's just more fun that way. Yeah. If, if we didn't record it, I don't know now, now that our life, like the way our life is, it'd be mm -hmm. weird. Yeah. You know what I mean? like, it would be weird if I didn't like vlog if we were going on like a trip or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now it's like, I have to. I feel like I have to now, just for you guys. So if, if you're that person that's in high school right now and you know, you're kind of like one of us in terms it's, it's of like, not really variety. knowing what to do, you can do anything with your life. The, and in high school, it doesn't stop It doesn't there. shape you. Yeah. So there's no limit to like, okay, I was terrible in high school. I got no life now. Then yeah, I would have had like, nothing. What do I do from this point on? But I would have had nothing, right? There's so many things out there that you can do outside of high school courses. You can do anything. Literally, the sky is the limit. <laughs> How is sky the limit when there's footprints on the moon? You judge that. You guys can judge that. <laughs> Take it how you want it. I forgot who quoted that. I didn't quote that, someone else did. There's so many things that you guys can do out there. A lot of schools are doing, um, introducing trade courses. Pocock had trade courses, like automobile. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be a welder after high school. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Like, don't stop at the first opportunity that you get. Yeah. Right? Don't settle for less if that's not what you want. Like, truly want. We hope that this video gave you guys a little bit of insight on, you know, the mistakes that we did in college. Uh, college. The mistakes college, that I wish. <laughs> the mistakes that we made through high school and kind of, you know, led to where we are now. Um, we hope that it kind of helps you. And guys, you're gonna mess up. You're gonna. But it's how you take it after you mess up. Are you gonna settle and let everybody? judge you for it and like oh he's not going to school he's gonna do nothing right you don't have to but you gotta figure out a way if you're gonna be a young entrepreneur then there's a way right but remember that it's on you no matter what hits if you go bankrupt do whatever happens to you it's on you we love you guys always remember like, like comment, comment share, share and, and subscribe. subscribe and we'll be back with the next one peace Bye.